Hey guys, it's Tom from Islam on Instagram, and this is gonna be my first tutorial for you guys for 14k. And I'm gonna show you the Kobe Bryant design that I did. This is what the final product will look like. So you want to start off with the white square background, and you want to make it a gradient. Change the gradient style from linear to radial. Change the colors from black to white. On the left side, then from white to whatever matches your team or player that you're designing. So I'm doing Kobe Bryant, so I'm going to use go about a, hat, a little bit below halfway on the color. Right there. Change the scale to your liking. I'll do that. 139. Now. I'm going to add the shiny floor, and I'll put all the links for the pictures in the description. Okay. Now you can see that it's actually a room, so we're going to have to cut some of it off. If you want to make it really straight, first you need rasterize the layer, right click from rasterize, and use the rectangular marquee tool, and just drag right to that corner right there. And press Control X to get rid of it. Okay. Adjust it to how you like it. Okay. Bigger. See how it is on the other one. Okay. All right. Now you want to change the blend mode to multiply. And opacity to forty. Now we're going to add the little city clip part. I'll put this in the description as well. Place it. Scale it down. Holding the shift key so it doesn't distort it. Tilt it a little bit. I don't know why, but the picture's a little crooked. Straight. Put it about halfway. I'm going to use my ruler tool. Okay, make sure that it's halfway. That's halfway, so I'm good. Try to move it a little out there. And then double click it. Go to color overlay. And change the color to about the color that you use in the background. Okay. Put the blend mode on hard light. Change the opacity to 80. There we go. Then press, then change the opacity to 44. Let's see what here. Yeah, about 44. Then Control J to duplicate the layer. Drag it over here. I used a different city in my other cover design, but I didn't like it. I'm going to use the same one. Then go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Let's make it symmetrical. Now, we're going to add a gradient to cover up the line that's coming in here. So you're going to go to your gradient tool. Make sure it's on the fourth one from the left. Then in your gradient, it should be white to transparent. This color should be white. And this color should also. And this color should also be white. Holding the shift, make a new layer, holding the shift key, drag a little bit of top of the floor, the same distance below the floor. And there you go. Got a nice gradient to the line that's covered. On the line somewhere. Change the opacity as low as possible that you can't see the line. Now, I'm going to add the, the lights in the corner. You can't really see them, but they kind of add a cool effect to your picture. So we're going to place embedded. It's called Corner Light Leak. I'll put this in the description. Put the blend mode on screen. And then I'm going to go to filter to make it brighter. I'm going to go to filter, top left labs, top left adjust. HDR collection, I 
dynamic brightness. Apply. And we're going to apply it again. Apply. Now we're going to add code. Now I used a PNG that day because I didn't really feel like masking. So I'm going to use it again. Find it. Scale it down to so wrap up a little bit. See where it is in our first one. That's it. Okay. Then you want to make if you want to make this cool shadow to make it more realistic with shadow gunning, press Control J to duplicate the layer. Double click the layer. Color overlay. Change the color from red to black. Okay. And you want to go to move tool, press control T to hold the transform and drag it to make it flat and put it right behind the Change the opacity from 100, 60, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And let's say the blur should be uh, 30 pixels. Okay, now we're gonna add the skin. I did really only two step skin on this one. So go filter, go past labs, adjust, stylized collection, psychedelic, however you say it, finishing touches, we go to transparency, and drag the bar to 0 0.3. Apply, then go to vibrant collection. Then clarity. Change this transparency to 70. Apply. Okay. Now we're going to add the text. So, and the font we're going to be using is impact. And the size should be 200. Sorry. Okay. All caps. Okay, so I should be about Okay, you can double click, go to styles up here, go to the little settings icon and click abstract style. Then press OK. And you're gonna go to the you're gonna see the two styles that I use for my text. This yellow and this purple. Go to the yellow. And if you don't like the yellow, you can always change the color. Go to color overlay. It's going to darken it up a little bit so it's going to be black. Maybe a little bit of opacity. Actually, I'm going to use a different one. Click on this jersey. Find a good one. Okay, that's good. Then we're going to type Bryant. A little bigger font. Maybe. Double click. Your style should still be there, so choose this purple. Color overlay. And click good purple. That's good. Lower the opacity. There we go. Now to tilt it, you're going to want to select the Kobe layer, then hold the control and click dry it. Then go to edit, transform, and scoop. Drag it over. Move them. Okay. Something similar. I wish I would have saved the PSD, but I forgot to. So now I'm going to add to 24. Same size font. Actually, Actually, make it two. 
and we're not we're gonna use a normal style so go to color overlay white then drop shadow and leave the default drop shadow drag it over here if you want to change it to a different color you can let it darken it up a little bit Edit, transform, proceed. Now I'm going to add a little details in the ground. Kind of like a little city skyline clip art, sort of. So, I know it doesn't look exactly the same, but you get the concept. You can do it however you want. So, let's see if I still have it. I'll put this in the description as well. Make it really big. Cover the whole picture. Okay. And change the opacity to 20. Wait. 14. Perfect. And then, now I'm going to add my watermark. I sell watermarks for only two dollars PayPal. I think my watermark looks pretty cool. If I don't say so myself. Now, if you have, because it's a white background and your watermark is white, if you want to change it to black, just double click the square on the watermark. Go to edit, or go to image, adjustments, invert. Then file, save. Then go back into the document and it will automatically change to black. Alright guys, there you have it. There's my color blind tutorial. Look forward to the 15k tutorial that will be a little more advanced. Thank you.